today we're having a little bit of a breakdown. We're dying my hair. So previously I had my just the tips of my hair dyed like purple, like that was in 2017 maybe. It's 2020 now. Things are going on. Things are not improving much. <laughs> so yes, let's take the hair down and see what we're working with. The beginning of all of this I had um Mika, I'm trying to film. I had bangs, but um, obviously they grew out very quickly. I cut them in like March and it's only May. So that'll be part of the process, but first we're gonna dye it. So I wanna dye the tips of my hair, like maybe this much, like up to my jaw. So that will be pink. And this is the hair dye I got. I recognize it from when my hairdresser dyed my hair purple. So hopefully that works. This is the bleach I got. Don't know anything about it or what it does, but this is what they recommended me at Sally's. Okay, so I watched a little bit of a Brad Mondo video. Not all of it, because I got impatient. <laughs> I just wanted to do it, so sorry Brad. What happened? Why is there an accent now? Okay, but my hair is dirty. I mean, not dirty, but like it hasn't been washed in a couple of days and it's dry so brush it first and here's my brush i don't even know what type of brush i have I. but yeah I, I was looking at my snapchat memories and like a year ago my hair was this short so my hair kind of grows fast i don't know if that's like typical for that type of length to be growing but look at like the last time I cut my hair was actually when it was in the video and I was having another little breakdown but I made it kind of cinematic by putting it to milk and honey so it was kind of disguised <laughs> but this is gonna be entirely different I've never dyed my hair before my own hair uh, it's been dyed before so it's not virgin but none of this current hair has been dyed ever because it's all grown out, you know? Okay, I'm dying of heat exhaustion. Oh, look at my shirt. And we got a section in the hair. And my, and my hair is quite thick, so we'll probably have to do the four section thing and then half those sections. I still, is this too thick still? Do I have to section it again? I think so. Okay. I have it mostly sectioned. Does this make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, another thing. I don't have a brush. Oh, I forgot the gloves. I have to go get the gloves. But I have these to mix and apply. <laughs> We're cooking. We're cooking up some hairstyles. Okay, let me go get my gloves, then we can mix this bad boy up. Oh, I have these gloves. I have the other, like, rubber, are they rubber? You know, the typical, like, medical hairdressing gloves, but I'm kind of saving those since the situation we're in in the world right now, and those are better for protection, and these are just, like, cooking gloves, so we're gonna use those. I've lost my train of thought, haven't I? That's why I've been doing a weird accent, because Twitter, TikTok has been putting accents into my head. So, I have this towel here that is my dog's towel, and we will be putting that on because it has the perfect hole for my head. Got this hair. We'll do two sections. Back first, front first. <laughs> okay, focus. So my mixing bowl, my thing. So I'm not going on the scalp, so off the scalp, mix entire contents with um, 1.5 fluid ounces. So it's 5.30 when I'm starting this. Let's see how long this takes me. Ultra bond, a beautiful. Pretty, it's 
It's like a very light lilac blue. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to inhale that. Why is it powder? Okay, and this is 20 volume. I didn't have a safety lid. Um, I'm just gonna use a plastic spoon to mix it up. Sometimes when I think about bleach, I kind of equate it with um, acid, so I think bleach will eat through everything. And I guess that's better for my mental know-how so I don't mess with bleach, because is my nose just really sensitive? Because this is like burning. Is it supposed to be this creamy? My eye. Should I do this outside? I'm gonna start crying. I'm just delaying it, I know, but. How do I measure this? How high do I want it? Oh, I want it this high. A little bit higher. Okay. 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 Do I have to have pre-sheets made? Look at me delaying even further. I'm doing this because I'm assuming it's going to need more heat because I'm not having it on my scalp that generates heat, but it's also like 100 degrees in here, so maybe it's fine. You can just... You can just chill there. Oh no. Oh no no no. <laughs> I can't even tell what's saturated and what's not. I'm like straight inhaling this stuff. I may have random spots, but it's okay. And just squeeze it all in there. This is so incorrect. This is not the occupation for me. If this goes wrong, I'll just cut it all off. It's just like I can't tell what I'm doing. Like, should I leave it this saturated? really bad. I wish I had a brush. You know what? Am I more than you bargained for yet? I'm trying to tell you everything. Ooh, I can feel the heat from the other side. Ooh. Is that a... Sp I can't gasp. Because when I gasp, I get a big inhalation of toxic fumes. I think I have a spot of bleach up there. Oh, you know, that's my bobby pin. Ooh. Oh, here comes the cone moment. Oh, what the... Okay, maybe no comb moment. Yeah, no comb moment. That's okay. That's chill. That's Gucci. So is that.
Then he's gonna be in trouble. Hey na, hey na, my boyfriend's fat. I don't have a boyfriend. But I do have some bleach. It's just possible to dye your hair like this vibrant and metallic. Can you imagine the state of society if we could dye our hair that color? Okay, now it's time for the back. So I've got everything in foils. And um, I took one of them off to see how it was lightening and it was like brown, like light brown. So it seems pretty good. It's currently like 6.30. I started at 5.30, but I didn't like start applying the bleach until 6. So I think I'm gonna leave it on for like another half hour, maybe 40 minutes. I don't know, it's not, do you think my hair would just like fall out? Who knows? Um, <laughs> let, <laughs> um, <laughs> what was I saying? 40 minutes maybe? Let's do 40 minutes and see how it turns out. But I think I may have to go get more bleach because I don't remember if I already said this, but I started to run out near the back. So I may just like have black hair in the back. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in like 40 minutes, I guess. Bye. This is what we're working with. Whoa. Some of it is still pretty dark. I think I'm going to go in with another set, another round of bleaching. But I have to go buy more bleach, though, so I have time to think about it. Okay. See you all soon. Hi. It's two... I think it's two days later. So... This is what the hair is. It's still pretty dark. <laughs> I actually ran out of bleach in the back part. So imagine how much bleach I would have had to use if I did my whole head. So I'm just going to do the same process, brush it out, section it. But this time I'm going to start in the back and then go in the front. And I had to get new stuff because they were out of the powder. So hopefully this works better. It's still 20 develop, 20 volume. Yeah, but this is what we're working with again. And excuse the lighting, it's still bathroom lighting. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll, I'll do like a little speed through. See, look at the dark part right there. I'll do a little speed through this time so you don't have to sit through it all. Okay. What it is, what it do. <laughs> okay, what is wrong with me? I feel like I'm in a perpetual state of crisis. That's a good title. Hi, welcome to Perpetual State of Crisis. <laughs> Today we're dying my hair. Okay, so I set a timer for like 55 minutes because I didn't want to do a full hour, but I didn't want to do like, you know, 55 minutes because you know on like cooking when it's like 10 to 20 minutes and you put it in for 15 minutes. That's what we're doing. But I started that before we started adding in the extra because I don't want the extra to like kill my hair because the last time I bleached it, it was still pretty healthy. That's my tripod, by the way, just ignore her. Um, yeah, oh, these are my bangs. I haven't cut them yet. That'll be the last step after the pink. Um, I think that's it. See you in like, five. I don't know how much time is left. See you later. So my hair is a little frizzy right now and the lighting in here is kind of yellowish, but it's pretty blonde. It still has a little bit of an orange undertone, but I think that'll be fine because I'll be putting pink on top. So that will kind of just make it look a little bit more reddish and I'm okay with that, okay? So yes, I think the back is a little tiny bit lighter, but the more my hair dries, the lighter it kind of looks. So I think we're good to go for pink tomorrow. This is such a long process. <laughs> and we're doing the pink. It's very bright, vibe, bright, bright. It's very vibrant, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot paler. A lot paler once it's on the hair and it's all rinsed out and stuff. I have two of these, so hopefully that's enough for front and, oh my God, something's burning my eye. Hopefully that's enough for front and back. 
sections, the four. I'm not going to film it because it's basically the same as the um, applying the bleach, but without foils. Hopefully you don't need foils. Yeah, we're going to assume that you don't need foils. I'm back in my wolf shirt. So let's hope this is good luck. And then we'll do the final reveal and the bang cutting. See y'all in like three hours. <laughs> hey, so you can see a little tiny bit of the pink, but I'll do like a full reveal after I, I do the bangs. So this is the final step, the final frontier. And I've seen a little bit of another Brad Mondo video about how to cut your bangs. And he said to leave your hair dry, but straighten it. But I don't have a straightener anywhere in this house. I don't have any heat products really for my hair. I have like heat curlers, but I don't think a curler is what you want when you're cutting your bangs. So I'm kind of just gonna hope for the best. It's not like they were layered or anything. It was kind of just like, so you know what? I'm just gonna go in. I got these fancy smizzers and <laughs> um, I feel like I should do this over a trash can. Let me just hold it up with my knee. Okay. That's not doing anything. Whoops. I don't have enough arms for this. Why isn't it cutting? Boy, if you don't get off my head. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Worldwide as I step in the room. I'm like, hush, little baby. And then she knew. Tonight was just me and you. Does this actually do anything? Kind of. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Then let's do the final reveal and sign off. Long last. Not so bad if I do say so myself. It's not like they were full on bangs. They were just a little sad to give a little definition. My hair used to be layered like in March, but I don't think they did like extraneous layering or anything. So it kind of doesn't look like it's layered anymore, but let go baby. This is the final look with some baby bangs. And I think I kind of want to curl my hair just to like see what it'll look like with the coloring. I kind of want to do bangs all the way across, but I won't, I won't, I won't mess with it. I won't. So ta-da, final look. How do we like it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Or if you're Brad Mondo, feel free to react. Or any hairdresser, anyone who wants to react, go for it. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow my acting Instagram and my YouTube Instagram. Follow my Twitter. Message me, talk to me, whatever. And I'll see you guys next week or the week after whenever I have some more motivation. Okay, love you guys. Bye.